Welcome to Building the Golden State, a journey through the history of construction in California. In this fifth episode of our mini-series, we delve into the captivating architecture depicting Art Deco and Hollywood glamour, reflecting the sentiments and dreams of the people from this glitzy age. California's architectural legacy is a tapestry woven with diverse influences. In the early 20th century, a new style emerged, captivating the imagination of builders and architects alike. The style was Art Deco, a blend of modernism, glamour, and a touch of Hollywood magic. On our first stop on this journey is the majestic Los Angeles City Hall. Completed in 1928, it stands as a towering example of Art Deco architecture. With its sleek lines, geometric patterns, and lavish ornamentation, this building embodies the spirit of the era. As you step inside, you'll feel as if you're being transported back in time. The lobby's stunning marble floors, intricate frisés, and breathtaking murals tell the story of Los Angeles' proclivity to gravitate towards elegance. This design leans into the golden age of Hollywood, which is near around the time the interior was constructed. From the heart of the city, we journey to the hills, where another architectural gem awaits. The Griffith Observatory, perched high above Los Angeles, is a testament to both scientific progress and Art Deco grandeur. Inside the observatory's main hall is a marvel of design. Its celestial-themed murals, sparkling chandeliers, and exquisite detailing capture the essence of Hollywood glamour. Here, visitors can explore the wonders of the cosmos, while being immersed in the opulence of the era. No exploration of Hollywood glamour would be complete without a visit to the iconic movie palaces that graced California's landscape during the golden era of film. These opulent theaters, such as Grauman's Chinese Theater and the El Capitan, transported audiences to a world of fantasy and enchantment. With their lavish Art Deco facades, intricate interiors, and ornate ceilings, these theaters were true architectural wonders. They became symbols of the glamour and allure associated with Hollywood providing a backdrop for countless movie premieres and unforgettable moments in cinematic history. These theaters were not only places to watch movies, but also architectural marvels in their own right. They pushed the boundaries of design and technology, incorporating innovative features that enhanced the movie-going experience. Grauman's Chinese Theater drew crowds from all over the world with its distinct Chinese-inspired architecture and lavish interiors. Its famous forecourt, featuring celebrity handprints and footprints in cement, became a symbol of Hollywood glory and cemented the theater's place in film history. On the other hand, Al Capitan showcased the fusion of Spanish colonial revival and Hollywood's Regency styles. Its grand marquee, ornate plasterwork, and luxurious furnishings transported audiences to a bygone era of elegance and sophistication. The Pantages Theater, known for its captivating architecture, became a prominent venue for Broadway shows and live performances. Its grand staircase, intricate moldings, and crystal chandeliers added to the allure and glamour of Hollywood and theater. The Golden Age of Hollywood not only left a lasting impact on the film industry, but also contributed significantly to architectural advancements in California. The movie palaces of that era showcased the fusion of various architectural styles, from Art Deco and Spanish Colonial Revival to Beaux Arts and Hollywood Regency. Today, these architectural treasures continue to inspire contemporary architects and designers, shaping the construction landscape of California. The innovative features and opulent designs of these buildings set new standards in the industry and pushed the boundaries of what was possible. Join us next time 
as we explore mid-century modernism in California. Until then, keep dreaming big and building even bigger.